I'm proud of you fellas. You all kept your head on a swivel, and that's what you gotta do when you find yourself in a vicious cockfight. escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Let's fix, as per usual, Monday night, technical difficulties, we kick off the week in glorious fashion, as per usual. Oh man, just say it, brother, I do what I can, right? I'm not perfect, and as they always say, we're, we're all still learning here, right? Or, or do I not have that as an excuse anymore? No, nah, we're all still learning forever, brother. That's if you're not learning, then you're dying. Perfect, perfect. Well, we're back inside the Indies. We had a really good show last week with uh, what 365 out of uh, out of Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Sound about right? That does. And tonight we're kicking around in our backyard. Oh, are we? Oh, that's right. This we is sure Tampa. are. Is this Tampa? Uh, it's actually in Ebor City. Oh uh, yeah, well it's Tampa. Ebor City, smack dab, middle of Tampa. Uh, this is what Full Impact Pro Wrestling, right? Yeah, uh, part of the WWN Live Network. You can find all of their playlists on a lot of indies dating back a few years. Uh, this show, in particular, is 2019 in full force. Uh, but you can check out WWN Live on YouTube. Let them know that behind the curtain sent you. And yeah, this is uh, 2019 Ebor City, right there in Tampa, right in your backyard. And uh, you know. Florida Indies are a special place. Well, I mean, Ebor City is a very special place. I've had many uh, uh, long evenings. That's probably the best way to call it. Uh, traveling. That'll bar. keep us. That'll keep us monetized for sure. From bar to bar, closing them down left and right, like it was going out of style in my much younger years. Not so much anymore. But yeah, let's jump ready, man. Let's jump into it. I don't. I have not taken a peek at this. I do not know who's on it. I don't know what we're going to see, uh, but I'm interested to get started and see what's all about full impact pro wrestling. Uh, let's roll, man. Three, two, one, play. Chat. I like the production on the intro. That's nice. I have been waiting seven long years since I was 15 years old for the moment that takes place tonight. Zach Cooper making his FIP, his Full Impact Pro debut here at the Orpheum. Yeah. Well, Speaking exactly of timetables, I've been waiting. Uh, you've probably been to shows there, haven't you? Nearly a year. <laughs> a guy who's been breaking doors too. down all over Florida, <laughs> Cyrus Satine. But tonight, here at the Orpheum, I'm going to make history, doing a lot of things that make no sense. <laughs> Not how I would Tonight, have ended that program. Okay. FIP in full force 2019, and it's a big celebration for my Heartbreak Enterprises and Fabu, my personal protege. Tonight, it's your chance uh, to eccentric. prove yourself and to prove that a little? you have a cherished spot. Uh, that's being. Yes, and I know you're going to take that little meatball oh, yeah. prefix yeah. and you're going to take it out 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 and it's going to be so much fun and then we're going to go out and we're going to party like all day we don't want to do. Oh, baby. I can't wait. Are you ready? I'm not. I'm not sure what I just watched. I used to carry my mother's groceries home from the bakery. Why? Because it was out of respect. Sean Davis, you and I go back almost 20 long years. I've, from Florida I've, to Pennsylvania. Hey man, I, I, I want to give them an A for city. effort here FIP on, uh, on some of the promos force. to at least tell us, you, put you know, kind of who we're going to see, who we might be seeing. Especially that little poof. Yeah, it kind of sets the tone for the characters. I like yeah, the work. Trying, trying to find silver lining. I've been too thrilled with all the put your hands yet. on me. Dirty blondes. Paul drove me, trying to take me out of existence. I've been fighting the odds my whole damn life. 
You think you're gonna, you think you're gonna put me out? You think you're gonna end my career? Bigger, badder men have tried and failed. See, Boys, I'm just, I'm I not convinced by this. One second, John. Fuck a fight. I'm ready for war. My fangul and gula sorted up. Tanosana, And gula sorted up. I need someone to tell me okay. why these two punks have another match tonight against us. We beat them fair and square last time. And they sit around on Twitter, mocking Tag us. champs here. The skulk. What? Degenerates? Miscreants? What are their names? Liam? Noble name for a pussy. Oh. And Adrian? Pew, tonight, pew. You two are going to feed Omar. I know the video you're referencing, I thought, and I thought it was funny, to be honest. Making fun of our names, Professor Food, you know, I, I, I thought it was hilarious. You know what? I thought it was funny because I find stupidity to be somewhat amusing. And that's exactly what we all proved that last time. We outsmarted them in the room. Well, I mean, then thus far, he should find the opening of the show rather amusing. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Smoke, uh, you're no stranger to being in the headquarters. Now you Why are you screaming, little man? But tonight, baby, you're in the headquarters of the freaking president. He's got the Jimmy Hart syndrome. And Chance Orin. And tonight, just like you're no stranger to it, you're going to hear that announcement that's going to be heard around the freaking world, huh? Still! Your FIP World Tag Team Champion. How many times are you going to smack Omar back your hands, too, bro? Orin, the press up is, huh? It's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I have been here at Full Impact Pro Wrestling. In Full Force, that's the name of the show. And In Full Force is what I'm about because tonight, tonight, I come here with a purpose. I have it. <laughs> I have something on my mind, something I No, wait. Have it's been a long time since he's been here, but he's holding the belt? Like, come on. O-A-O. Right? I mean. Troy Hollywood. You guys are talking a whole lot. You're talking a whole lot about what you have earned, what you deserve, the spots that have been taken from you, the others have, that the <coughs> you should have. Well, you're given an opportunity tonight, Troy Hollywood. You're given an opportunity. No, Max, but I wish it was. In full impact pro wrestling, and that's me. That's that's the guy you're looking I, at. That's I mean, he right might not be too far right off. Here, right? This is Florida Man Wrestling, though. Tonight, FIP, full impact pro out of Ybor City, down there in Tampa. You. I beg for you to bring your absolute best, because tonight all that's happening, I'm kicking the shit out of you. I mean, he was the best pro. That was probably, yeah. <clears throat> So I think I think I might know who that is. I heard somebody mention him in the promos. I was like, wait. Yeah, the music is up, the volume is down, they're it's they're kinda of competing for the for the volume here. Uh oh. Did their sound well, I guess they heard us. Uh either their sound went out or they don't have music rights. I'm willing to bet you they don't have music rights. Look at this guy strutting ass. I love it. The eccentric screamer is what I'm calling him. 
The eccentric screamer. All right. Yeah, I can see it. He couldn't, he couldn't talk without screaming at me a minute ago. That's exactly what it was. They were on the ground. They were on the ground. They were on the ground. They were Good God. He's going to have a fucking heart attack, bro. Or an aneurysm or a stroke or something. Oh, sorry, Ace. <laughs> it's what it is. What's that? There, there are benefits to this segment, though. Uh, it's not his voice, but there are benefits. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, he's been screaming for a few minutes now. But you look like you're partying at the bathhouse around the corner. Stop fucking playing. Shut up. Let's get to the goddamn. Yeah, I said it tonight. I'm, I, I have a headache, and I have no tolerance for stupidity tonight. And this guy's is... <laughs> Max. You got something? Oh, he's got something. <laughs> Max is talking about something. This guy made his dog start barking. I wish I could say that I was shocked. Oh, my God. I'm about to fast forward through this motherfucker. That's... Finally. Oh. Jesus. If he didn't come out to Rebel Yell, I would be so disappointed. That's... I like this music. I do too. Damien Angel. I know this name from, from the indies too. Okay, so this guy right here has already got more interest in, 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 in 30 seconds than, you know, Stick to Promo. Just with his, his music, just with his entrance, I don't know who he is. I don't know who the fuck He's kind of got a Raven-esque feel to him. Darker. Okay, now see, both of these guys got bodies. They both have the look. So. We're getting things started here oh. immediately, Zach. Brian Idol. Our hometown boy is not uh is not waiting. To start things off, WWN and FIP present in full force 2019. I was gonna say we are absolutely starting things off on a different level here, Trevin. Ducks the charge, Short eats a back elbow. Duck under. This is just his world, and we're living in it now, I guess. Is he raking right the now, eyes? Or oh, he's cut. Oh, he was. He's covering the eyes. And oh, we were, we were told quickly. That's Brian Idol last time. Roll over. The agility yeah, that was a little one. slow. So does Damian Angel. Fly head scissors taken okay. out. Brian Idol. To the outside, the Idol goes. Big man threw a, threw a head scissor. Welcome to the Wild West as Angel with the axe handle. Coming after Brian Idol. These guys now battling it out outside of the ring. When given the option to run him into a post or the apron, you oh, nice headbutt. You always run him into the post. And yes, Max, that was a royalty free banger right there. Somebody's beer got wasted. That's alcohol abuse on the outside. And another. It's a $7 fucking beer. Beat Brian Idol all through. The oh. bursting of Ebor City makes him so dangerous. Yeah, and speaking of, I guess he was a little thirsty. The opposite, superstar Sean Davis, seeing the danger, trying to hide behind Natalia Markova here as Brian Idol and 
Damien and Angel are just fighting. So many times have we seen Damien and Angel in wars throughout all of WWE. And heck, last time we were Oh, here face first the bar here. The bar top. The I don't know how many of you guys have ever face planted a bar, but they are not soft. Can we talk about the poetry that is an FIP crowd just chanting violence? That is the most FIP thing I think I've seen all year. Oh, I'll tell you right now, the term hot crowd is thrown around. This is Have they made it crowd. into the ring? We were in the ring briefly, right? Yeah, they started in the ring. It's Damien now going up to say, what is that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, somebody came through the door. The newest acquisition to the Sean Davis lifestyle. Yeah, right wow. outside Just that door is one of the busy streets of E4 City. Come down to Tampa Bay area, guys and gals. Hit me up. I will take you on the strip. Best cigar bars, best nightlife for, for that piece of Tampa. Historic districts. Anything goes. Many, many, many bars that have shut down. The arena looks like it's got plenty of space in there, too. It's a concert hall, so it's a small concert hall. In the favor of Brian Idol, and guess what? The pods are gone. Shock and all. And now it's all about the numbers game. We thought it was um, that going in. Sean Davis used to run. Grabbing at uh, Damien Angel before things Sean, got out of Shine and Shimmer were one of the two. We have uh, they were doing weekly spin. shows on the keyboard. Now that could have been bad. Both men. Yeah, they were very close to landing right in the front row there. to absorb that kind of damage, but I know for sure neither one of them Oh, get him up. I'll give you a hint. There is wood down there. Just seeing him on the screen. Those aren't much a match. So these guys, as you just said, the damage has been done to Brian Idol. Showing his tenacity getting back to his feet. Before the night. Once again, if you're just joining us here, if you're watching on It's very likely. You are checking out Full Impact Pro. This is in Full Force 2019. And Brian Idol might be winning this match. Or not. One and a half count, Zach. Point I was going to make, no count outs. Virtually no rules. Things are nuts here in FIP. And we are starting things off with one heck of a battle. And now Brian Idol throwing the I knees. I wish Idol would lay it in a little bit. He has got a derailed devil god. And is like that? To take every well, the suplex was good. The knees were terrible. Yeah, it was like he was scared to throw. Yeah, he gave a lot of distance on the that drop knee, too. That man's knee is his overconfidence. Now, you called it. And there's a reason Brian Idol is this confident. He knows he's that good because he is that good here. Damien Angel in some trouble here. Not the first time that Angel and Brian Idol in the same ring. The pace of this match is kind of slow, but it's not a horrible match. I think uh, Idol needs to clean up some of his hit work. I completely agree. I think that he needs to tighten up a little bit. Uh oh, wind up. Oh, big chop in the corner. Ad reverberating throughout the building here. Brian Idol was telling me his air took seven hours to breathe. Oh! Now here's Damien Angel, chops of his own here, Zach. Oh, oh he got cut off with that. Did the hair dresser have to take nah, He was like throwing chops. He was on that fire was with those chops, yeah. Those eye. look good. They sound good. Now we saw right from the start here, Damien Angel coming uh, in same with the I've heard Brian of them. Brian Idol clearly having the plan in place to attack from behind. Well, apparently, he's going to back it up. Oh, more you know, count, right. Bridge pin. Picture perfect form for Brian Idol, but not enough to keep the devil god down. Get your little star rainbow going on. Yeah. It's not exactly. often you see Damian Angel in trouble. Of course, tonight it's been what? Uh, five on one. Yeah. You have the dirty blondes get involved. The Taya Markova's been out there jaw jacking with distracting superstar Sean Davis, of course. And Sean Davis right, is looking to get things done, looking Let's, to get yep, the party exactly. going. Uh, it looks like he's going, he's trying to go all the way up. Oh, but he gets cut off. Oh, that was in Oh, shit. That was a DT very the, the Yeah, no, that was nice. I don't think I've seen that. I like it, though. If you got to get forced up to the top, that's a hell of a counter. Ooh, nice flying that is forearm. Such an easy bump to fucking take. Yeah, because you just bounce your face and back bump. 
It's not even like an off the ropes bump because you hit the ropes or you hit the mat first. Now, Trevin, you mentioned right from the start when they were almost on seventh All right, well, we we'll see that uh, on, on, on our TV next week. Davis has been to keep so, right? Because that's totally a story. Right when the match started, Brian Idol already jumped him. This is all about using the weapons that Damien Angel uses against him. And Damien Angel ducks the clothesline. Look at Vaughn from where right taking notes. Ring, is that enough? Pinfall. Oh, two count only. I mean, I would be. As I stated earlier, Damian Angel has torn through the state of Florida in his days. We have seen him go up against some of the absolute best and brightest and come out on top, but what a kick from Idol to stop that momentum. Yeah, beautiful Savat kick there. That running knee taking oh. Angel. What does Idol have in mind here? Positioning Angel. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got to guess. The best moonsault ever connects. This has to be it right here. Cover. No two Ooh. count only. Nope. How impressive is it that Damian Angel able to get that shoulder up? Zach, so many people have been taken out by the BME. But Brian, now the question is, what can he throw at Damian Angel? He's got to be asking himself, what will it take? Well, you've got the veteran's mindset of Damian Angel. You've got the strength, the agility, and the absolute bar none toughness. Oh! Hey, that's legal in FIP. Go to kick below the equator. Yeah, dude, just seen this Hayek coming in with a chair and quickly getting out of the way. Of and Angel. let's see how that works out for him. Oh, wait a minute. Active violence DDT. Active violence oh. DDT on the chair. If this connects, this is going to be. But what is Sean Davis oh, no. doing? Oh, here, here comes the fuckery. I would say. Oh, uh, yeah, the fuckery is around. A foot. It's a foot. Wait a minute. Here she comes. Drops him on the chair. Is that not a DQ? Is this a no DQ match? Did I miss no, it? yeah, apparently it is. That's why they didn't have him counting out uh, when they were out the outside. That's why they didn't count out or a DQ when everybody else got involved. You gotta be kidding me here. We said it. Numbers game. Heartbreak Enterprises. At times in this match, five to one against Damian Angel. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, what the record books will show. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Brian Idol. See, I got consider this much less of not a bad debut show for the kid. For Heartbreak Enterprises. Oh, Always he getting the fuck out of here. Oh, Christ. No, I got something for his ass. It's called Mute. Sorry, guys. I can't listen to his fucking voice anymore. Like, I'll really, let you know when we're I done. I cannot do it. I just can't. And I don't feel like he's saying anything compelling enough to make me sit through it. And I mean that in the nicest possible fucking way. So if you guys in the chat want to hear what he has to say, I'll turn the volume back up. Don't make me turn it I don't back. think anybody wants to hear what he has to say. Please don't make me turn it back up. Just get out of the way. He's still got the fucking microphone. Jesus Christ. He hasn't said anything important. Okay. Well, we're going to keep the volume down until they take the goddamn microphone out of his hand. You're not a star, son. I think I would have been mad if I paid money to have to listen to this guy yell at me. Are you falling asleep? Huh. We're just waiting on this guy to stop running his yammer. Finally, something oh. else. Awesome. Back into it. All right for the Kenny Bowling reference. I'm here for it. Good job. It's oh, not a hate it. child. I love the tonight. That is exactly who he reminded me of, and I couldn't remember the fucking name. Way to go. I love Smokey Mountain Wrestling. 
This young lady may be new to you, but I'll tell you right now, former ACW Women's Champion, and she has yeah, gotten Maria, you to I, the shape you just, of you just, her You just fight. made me, made my heart. Just, you just, that one statement. Setting up here. This is a former champion here. versus former champion, and both these ladies have tussled okay, against Lady Taylor in the past. All right, I hope this match is good. I'd really like for these women to have a good opportunity to show out Double down here. Debuts here at FIP, although I we'll think see. we've seen more than enough of Natalia Markova already. Nevertheless, both these ladies looking to impress here. And debut or not, the crowd is firmly is it, is it bad that I can hear and him screaming on her side as these two ladies locking up? Yes, Such it's bad if you can hear him at all. Them, by the way. <clears throat> Natalia Markova looking like she's getting the better of this lockup. But intensity from both of these women. What a chop. <gasps> oh, shit. Said, we said, expect two ladies who are hard hitting. I think somebody just came out of their chair with such a hard hit. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, Markova's got a fucking knife edge. Former ACW Women's Champion versus former ACW Women's Champion. Champion. That so, bitch is like a shotgun blast, bro. I was watching uh, United uh, Women, yeah, Women of Wrestling, I believe is what it was. Oh, you see again, and Quentin Rampage Jackson so was the shots, CEO of what happened. He comes out and do commentary from well, 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 the women's match. The My pitch chops get thrown. He doesn't know how to call around. Oh, he was like, he, she just got... Chopped in the boot. Here's the thing, Zach. They are moving at light <laughs> speed, trying to have counters for the counters here. And neither one. Take your job, buddy. What's it going for? Well, you saw. Because those shotgun, you know, blasts, and those shotgun blasts and knife edges are red. disgusting. Literally, this Markova chick. Damn. Yeah, that was a nice Hurricane Rana there. Okay, these ladies are doing way better than the first match. Way fucking better. And the queen pin. Celebrating with the uh, the plebs of FIP. Oh my god! Oh shit! Catalina in the head. This has to be a pinfall. No, are you? And a kick out. Y'all be damned. She waffled the fuck out of her with that chair at the ropes, dude. I missed it. My head was down. Dude, she fucking waylaid her ass coming towards the ropes like she was going to fly over. Fucking cracked her square in the face. No arm, no block, no nothing. She took that bitch to the dome. He doesn't he doesn't have anything he can do other than suggest please stop choking her. It is totally legal here. Good, yeah. The chat knows what's up. Dat Max Ace, yeah. The kick Oh god. Mm. These straight We're kicks to the chest and by Markova gets a catch. Yeah, but wild swing. Oh, what a close one. Right. Oh! Markova just a little faster. One, pitfall. two. No, two count only, but well, they're, they're, I'll tell you listen, right now, I'm, I'm you're fall. seeing so cheeky. how tough. Yeah, I've, I've been checking that out since the show opened. Um, but, you know, Melinda here, not, a, not at all, like, shabby in the cells either she is taking some fucking shots like jesus her in there and here comes a spinning heel kick here markova in control oh we're in ads break across the building pinfall two count only and are we in an ad break but guess what we sure are even more shot Let's say this shows me two things. One, I don't. Uh, well, we're about to be on ad number two for 30 more seconds. For those subscribed to the channel, we are commercial free. And this is usually the hardest hit match I've seen Kathleen in. The fact that she's going the distance. When we know that we're on a she's going the distance with this she wolf from Siberia. Impresses um, me. There's not a lot to screw around with this though. These two are just beating the shit out of each other. Nice super kick. Oh, fuck. And the cell too. She ate the shit out of that. What an impressive battle here, Zach. This will be the last.
last match that we stream on Facebook Live. Good and what God. A way to end that portion of tonight's event. If you're watching right now, you got to join the club. Club WWN, WWNLive.com, $9.99 a month. You get this entire event. These you two ladies are putting it out there. Or, excuse me, in one week, you get Shine Wrestling next week. And so much yeah, Max, this is, a, this is a hell of a WWN good match. Fingertips. And, of course... As these ladies get back Delicious up to battle, party. just a sample of what we're going to see tonight. Boot to the face. Well, I mean, not if they were going to go into that last match next. I wouldn't have. On her speed and quickness oh, alone, she was able to dodge maybe a third of the attacks and try to give them some offense here. Ooh. Now we're going to telegraph. Oh, telegraphs. Oh, kicks her in the gut. Oh. And a cat stab her in the center of the oh. ring. Just a two after the backstabber. Maybe more. How close was that, Zach? Good lord. Yeah, these two ladies are hitting much, much harder. And this was the free mat? Yeah, right? Wait a minute. She's prone right now. Markova trying something, but instead, escaping and ducking the clothesline is Catalina Perez. what do we have here? Nice suplex. A little bit of suplex action pinfall. If Tani was on the show, this one no. would say Tani gets so a close once no again. Yeah, seriously. Let's make no bones about this, Trevin. We have seen Markova get involved in quite a few matches here at FIP to tussle with the Gents. And the fact that Catalina is able to stand tall and go the distance, I think speaks volumes about Catalina. Ooh. Both ladies. Cannot seem to find the answer for the oh, other. Is this going to be it? German suplex into the pitfall. No, again. Not able to put away Perez. Markova, you can see frustration. Not quite enough. Exhaustion has to be setting in for both of these. Don't ladies. throw a the fit about it, though. Going right now, Zach. Insane. You can tell right here, Trevin. The four plays over. We are swinging for the fences. This is all or nothing. This is Hail Mary oh, okay. time. RKO! Ace Crusher gonna be that Hail Mary. Oh, I love how they went with the Ace Wait a Crusher minute. instead of the RKO. Yeah, Perez, down. what does she have in mind here? This is uh, unprecedented. We do not see Perez in the high rent district. She's in no woman's land right now. Oh, yeah, please double Sean stop Davis him from the top rope. Oh. oh. I don't know if you caught that. Wasted Superstar too much time. John with the man on the outside. Right now, Markova. Kick to the gut. Advantage. Oh, got her. That was like a spinning sit-up face buster. That's going to do it. That is it. Markova pulls the win here in a much better second match, for sure. What a battle <laughs> between these two winners. You guys are bringing it in chat tonight. Yeah, they're absolutely nailing this dude. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're going to hell. If that was any indication, Zach, this is going to be one heck of a night. Cameraman knows the assignment. Good job, guy. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, oh, my, God. Uh, my math was never so good. I, is that not 2 and 0 now for Sean Davis for tonight? Yes, and sir. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, there is more Sean Davis still to come as he's. Celebrating here with, as he called her, the femme fatale. Yeah, no, Max, 100%. So dangerous. She just saw it in action. As much as I was impressed by Catalina Perez tonight, it's been Markova's night, it's been Sean Davis' night. And this is where we yes, meet this up, motherfucker man. again. I do not have time for you. Yeah, no joke, Dad. Yeah, sorry guys. I and if I'm echoing, I'm, I'm trying to fix the audio. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Uh, if you guys really, really, really want to hear what he has to say, I'll turn it back on. If you can give zero fucks like I can, then it'll stay off. If you can give zero Oops. Hey, Max, you leave the good name of Harvey Marks out of this.
He's cosplaying. That's funny. Oh, well, if he was cosplaying, he'd have the axe grip with it. Hey, oh. That's probably true. Except uh, Frost has it. All right. What do we have going on now? What in the fuck is that? <laughs> Wait. It's Dalton Castle's long lost third cousin. The excitement in Zach's voice there. Every word he just said was written for him by superstar Sean Davis. I'm telling you right now, I thought Sean was going to talk the rest of the right night. Back, describing how excited he is about that. I feel like liquor needs to be involved. I feel like I'm going to make it through it. I honestly feel like I'm at one of those clothing stores. Yeah. That I never you know. would leave me right here, huh? Yeah, that music I sure will leave you right here. Somebody Hopefully. trying to sell me I'll something I can't afford. I... What are they doing? I... When I look at I'm just door, glad that she's still at ringside. About myself, about the world as I understand it, it's troubling. Mothman confirmed. If nothing else, Fabu is a sight to behold. Uh, you can say that again, boss. Sorry, Zach, I took a bathroom break. I see we're still doing Fabu Andre's entrance. And hey, he's wasting no time. I, That's Francisco Chiazzo. Funny games are over, ladies and gentlemen. I don't understand what this guy's thinking getting in the ring with this dude. He is outsized, outclassed, outweighed for sure, and definitely outstrength. Like I just Chiazzo. Chiazzo has been begging to get his hands on. Now, Trevor, Good I lord. If this is a majority of just revenge. Yeah, he had no Chiazzo time for that bullshit. He wanted to get Chiazzo right into the beating of the asses. Saw what happened to Damian Angel, saw what happened to Catalina Perez and said you've got to strike first and strike harder if you've got a chance to survive this thing. Oh, I bet you money we had officials and security having to keep Francisco Chiazzo from coming out any sooner here. We've kept him and Sean Davis away from each other the entire night. Yeah, it seemed like he was in kind of a Sean rush. Sean Davis showed up about 8.59 in a giant limousine. And how prone right now is Fabu Andre? Oh, right in the tailbone, bro. I think uh, Kiazzo might be testing some waters here. I don't know. I don't know. But nevertheless, just like Kiazzo... <laughs> Kiazzo came here on a mission, and that is to tear the wings off this butterfly and then look to dismantle the rest of Heartbreak Enterprises. Look at the ricochet. Oh, that was dangerous. He did not make that flip over at all. attempting to because Kiazzo is wasting no time. Superstar better run away. No, apparently. Markova now. Trying to get in front of it, but Fabu Andre taking advantage of the opportunity, the distraction again by superstar Sean Davis. Say Davis once again, the difference maker. We saw him play such a vital part for Kiat. Oh, for Perez and now Piazzo. Get a little piece of the action. Oh, but baseball slide from Fabu. Oh, nice baseball slide. I wish he had been a little bit to the left. Putting his body in danger. I wish he had been a little bit to the left. He could have got that dude right in the spine and put us all out of his misery. Say what you will about the pop and circumstance. This young man is incredibly effective in the ring when he gets going. You've seen so many impressive Fabu Andre matches in the Proving Ground of American Combat Wrestling. We've seen him in ACW as part of our flagship events, but right now you're seeing what he can do in an FIP ring. Well, not only that, though, but over the course of the last Just year... Just standing on his chest we've here. We've seen Fabu get equal parts better in ring and equal parts weirder. And here's Fabu now continuing to go after Francisco Chiazzo. Yeah, right? Very smartly. But I was about to say very smartly, not slowing down his attack. But instead now, again, the pop and circumstance. Say Sean Davis sweating like a southern preacher at ringside here. Yeah, but what a DDT. By Fabu, is this it? Two count only, but the damage has been done to Chiazzo. Well, and we talk about just the shape 
the the agility, the cardio of Fabu, the, to be able to take and absorb. The fact that he's making any offense here at all is a little bit surprising. To start things off here, playing the long game, trying to wear down Kiazzo and just survive the night. And as Fabu Andre there just wrenching in, got that head. That you know, that's how they keep their seat totals. Fabu now. Big forearm to the back. Bulldog. He's got to capitalize here, Zach. What is he waiting for? Well, if I had to say there was one downfall for Fabu Andre that we've seen countless times in the proving round at ACW, is that he, like a mob, talking him. Oh, ducks right out of the way. Oh! Just face plants his ass. Dirty blondes are out here. Ah, uh, we have a run in by a tag team, Dirty and Blonde, and Cowbell, and some heavy boots going on. They're, they're I guess this is a guess much more laid back here. fed where there's little and rules. Once again, the enforcement group of Sean Davis. That's. <laughs> yes. Shades of all or nothing. This happened to Kiato before. This is heinous. It is a mugging. There are four men beating on Francisco Chiazzo. That cowbell might have just broken the nose to Francisco Chiazzo here. And again, the numbers game. I'll tell you right now, as Leo Bryan is starting, what's he doing? Is he choking? I think he's going to run out of breath soon, though. Bull rope around Chiazzo here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's trying to hang him. He's hanging oh, they're him. hanging him he's up, yeah. What is this? Oof. Yeah, looks like our big chop there. Out, going right into the end versus the dirty blondes, and I'm starting to say the dirty blondes coming out And we're just going right into Porter, the next match. Superstar Sean Davis back at all or nothing. Superstar had brought his uh, goat to the ring. To they the called the other match, and these guys came out to meet their challengers the in the next one, and they are not waiting at all. We're right into it. Is being done to the blondes. Here's the end. The fight's going everywhere. Oh. Well, you know, Trevor, we both refer to the Dirty Blinds as the enforcers for Sean Davis. Nobody out enforces the end. They are domination personified. Former FIP World Tag Team Champions getting ready to participate mm. in one heck of a Big tag heavy shots for the big man here. Wrestling, but right now, got to keep their eyes on the Dirty Blinds. And guess what? Big they're European. They're in control. Here's Perot in the ring. Odinson's in the ring. They've got Leo Bryan. Yeah, let's just start a fourth one. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh oh. Let's say these two giants have their oh. in place and are looking Massive drop kill. kick there. Lover boy Leo. Oh my lord. Oh no. Has Perot up. Oh. Alright, so since I've been gone, there's been an awful lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, a lot of shit went down. It, it's yes. Listen, I had the last match game. got thrown out. The I saw the uh, the Well, the blondes were already out because they interfered in the last match. They got the last match thrown out, and then the Vikings showed up and just went right into the match with the dirty blondes here. Like there was no, there was no hesitating. There was no nothing. There was just bam, bam. Let's get the fuck on. So my my ADD kicked in while I was gone. Um, hey, so I want to ask you a question real quick. Here's your chat. How do you think about FSU getting shaft? Uh, as a Seminole fan, also, I think that uh, the college. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, John. I think no, it's cool. In my opinion, it doesn't matter. It's fat guys in here beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> no, seriously, John. Like, what, was your, your, what are you thinking about it? I saw a letter from the commissioner uh, essentially questioning the, the decision-making. 
I I knew when they were going to implement this bullshit, it was just a matter of time before it blew up. So and here it is. Well, they don't have, unless they're going to go to an actual playoff, they don't have a good system. You can't go based on strength of schedule versus number of wins versus whatever and have a panel decide who gets to go and have a fair pick. Like, you just, you can't. Because there's always going to be somebody that gets shafted, like an undefeated team that just didn't have the schedule that somebody else had that doesn't go, but somebody with a loss does. So... No, I completely agree. However, I think it, I no think it's one has proven themselves bullshit. more in the I do know that you'll never see an NFL team win the AFC or NFC championship and then get passed over for the Super Bowl because their quarterback got injured in the game. I'll tell you that for fuck sure. They just got to figure it out or lose. Got to lose that composure. Bro trying to fight his way back up. And like you said, I'm Let me say this. Away so, team. Both teams uh, so I don't really do a lot of social media as most of my close friends who are aware. Usually, what I do is a troll situation. Is, uh, bragging rights. Oh, and that's what's I saw. Line, I'm coach. from out. I'm from Birmingham. I went to school. This is this is to prove who uh, are the better big men. Man. And uh, again, blocks continue to come my friends popping off. The damage is being done on the but yeah, I screen capped that letter from the commission and sent it to Damn, several of my friends directly and said, so, about that. Kicks out, that I mean, yeah, you're in, but there's got to be a little asterisk on your shit, bro. Okay, now that we're at college football side, this back to this match. Is there any end in sight? No pun intended. All right, so match yeah, this four. battle of the big man is just heavy hitting brawls. <laughs> this is this is just big beefy dudes beating the crap out of oh, each other, like that. That reminded me of like uh, that uh, Eric the Lariat steal there, right there. I have seen that was that heavy as shit. Bro, lands on his feet and cuts the kid's head off. I have seen it. He, is, he throws a mean. There goes Leo it's so pretty. I know that that one was fucking heavy. He did not miss that at all. So Grimace is out here for his fourth match. Am I right? And how old is it? Can keep a track? Yes. Well, that's it right now. You're seeing a man. I don't even think a cage could keep Odin Sid. From his pride out. Well, this is uh, beautiful I European. Your, your and another, the rotation adding a dish of five. Oh, this has been studying abroad wrestling. because he's got Ooh. It's an independent show. And he's not slowing down. What a unique neck breaker here. Uh, Odinson is a first time in the channel. Do things Monday that nights, few men can do. But guess what Michael show. Patrick says? Oh, and he got a big stomp in the gut, duck under. Thursday nights are spotlights. As I said, for the Bloodhounds, it's about control. For Sean Davis, it's about control. For the end, it is about chaos. Oh, yeah, it's all right there. Continuing to prove their superiority. Yeah, Dad, this is FIP. FIP faithful coming to life for the end. Odinson's got Michael Patrick up. But Leo Bryan taking Up in the air. Back off the back. Dirty Blondes. Trade out. Big boot. And now, oh, we're out. Oh. oh, my goodness, the well, they like they're struggling with that I mean, they, yeah, they look like that one was a little rough getting them up. Say, this is all par for the course in FIP world. And now the Dirty Blunts both attacking the end on their respective corners. But both of the end getting out of the way. Yeah, this is a 2019. And it said tandem offense from the end. Europeans, Larius, right Leo Bryan and Michael Patrick are being flattened. I'll say it's like a battle of the banjos with yeah, they are. train wrecks. This is. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh shit. Leo Bryan across the ring. Bro, he came in from the corner, too. Like, that's. Yeah, there was no way. He ran through that motherfucker's rib cage. Oh, that spear was gross.
Yeah, not today. Ace, not today. They uh they didn't needed more than a chair shot, I think. That is facts. Those dudes right there are pretty massive. And I don't know why you guys are standing there like you want some. They just beat your ass. Yo, yeah. yeah. You gotta think our winners of tonight's main event, whoever leaves here, FIP World Tag Team Champions, they gotta be looking at both of these teams as Michael Patrick throwing chairs into the ring, losing his composure. It's not gonna do you any good, buddy. Yeah, get him the fuck out of here. I'm tired of seeing him. Please take him with you. Before. Maybe they're gonna head back there, but not before we uh, rearrange the Orpheum, apparently. I'll say those are, those are a pair of angry blondes, and Sean Davis, none too thrilled to have the momentum deeply derailed thanks to the end. Just running at your mouth, dude. Just running at your mouth. They just left a partner out there to throw a tantrum. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's, that's Anthony um, Henry's music. All right, who's out next here? What is the FBI All right. World Heavyweight Champion, uh, out here world heavyweight champion uh, Anthony yes, Henry out here. Not, uh, I don't think he's quite right slated uh, to fight yet. Isn't it the same guy that said, I haven't been here in a minute? Earlier on, when he cut the promos. The man who mm -hmm. is the face of this company, Anthony Henry. A hitman in pro wrestling, if there ever was one. And proud holder of the gold. I bet you he's going to talk. Because why not? Everybody else has it. And the champ is apparently going to grace us with some words. It has been far, far too long since your full impact pro world heavyweight champion has been at the Orpheum. You know what? You know what? Actually, I can't wait any longer. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Let's get Troy Hollywood out. Please. Interesting look, interesting feel to this guy. We'll see what happens. I don't know if he's too cocky or just, you know, used to be in the spotlight. Well, I'll tell you, FIP World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Henry throwing us for a loop here. Not title special challenge match. We're doing it now. It's a non-title match? I'll tell you, this is a major, I mean... For Troy Hollywood, like you said at the top of the hour, starting off the the event, you made the point of victory here tonight. It's got to put you at the top of the mountain. Not just an FIP, but it's got to get the attention of the crowd. Of all brands. He is so far. I, I mean, 
Oh, hey, hello. Hollywood catching. Henry Snap Soup Sykes. This is it. I would have hit a score only, just but like that, no man. Time. I would have had a perfect oh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, from the snap turn into what do we got here? Beautiful elbow, it connects. This is it, this is it. Just a two kill. Almost. OAL's mantra have been one plan, one execution since the beginning, and Troy Hollywood has absolutely come to this contest with one plan, and that is to take down the FIP World Heavyweight Champion. Your FIP, Faithful trying to get behind Troy Hollywood. Oh! Henry having none of it. Chops catching Hollywood. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a non-title matchup. But oh, snap! Beautiful! Oh, beautiful yeah, power yeah. slam. It's about to say non-title or not, Anthony Henry is coming here like it is a championship match. Oh, step on her. Sweep. Side not rushing. Go. Holds on. And another. Catches it for a second time. Third time's a charm. He's got the hair illegal here in FIP. Not for him, of course. And he does. He nails that third one, floats over. Well, time he got some offense there, at least. I'm making fun of him. I am not. Not average. You're in full drop. Stop one. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. They are on another level. The kicks of the champ. I'll drink some more coffee and we'll get it together. Oh, big kick there. Champ's kind of got a Darby out. Minus the a little bit. Oh shit! Catches him. Oh! Credit. Credit to Anthony Henry. Just Troy face plants him on the apron kick. there with that leg Henry kick. Having the answer, definitely clearly scouted Troy Hollywood. Hey, he read his book. Yeah, but Zach, I'll tell you, I do not like where these guys are. Dangerous part of the ring. We got dueling chance of Hollywood and sucks here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Trevor. No, 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 not like this. Hollywood John on the brakes. That's totally saw. Zach, if one oh, of these no. men Wrestling is successful, line. it's going to be the end of the match. Japanese Henry lands match. on his feet, Ooh, hits the forearm on Hollywood. The oh, but Hollywood catching him off guard, blinding and that the wasn't champ. Enough. That there was another suplex off. Like, off and now Hollywood Ooh, hits the punch. Successful, but he is not slowing down here. Sounds a little a crazy. Going for it again, what a kick! Now, you were talking about sequels earlier. This might be a trilogy. And this FIP Why do they have to play oh. so hard on the out? God damn! The recoil the with Orpheal the back leg hit the ring post of Hollywood there. I'm Hollywood's got to keep up this offensive. He, he may have a big ass bruise tomorrow on that uh, on that shin. Yeah, that was a hell of a kick. Take advantage. Ooh, yeah, shot to the side of the head. And Trevin, you said it right at the start of the show. What a win in this case would do for Troy Hollywood. Title or not, you Ugh. put down the champ, that puts you on everybody's radars. Well, that's it. And I'm telling you, you can choke him all day. Hollywood's Let me grab some uh, some more coffee. I'll be right yeah, back. What a boot. You go do Jesus that. Christ. Pinfall. Keep your head up. I'm gonna get coffee. I'll be right back. But now yeah. you're starting to see the. Oh, and Anthony Henry. Hollywood getting back up to his feet here. Just as I was about to conjecture, you're starting to see some damage finally done. I don't done. like this match. Henry is dead. Not only does he say you're number one, he says, so try it. How are your strengths? Went well, that women's match screwed by the place, I will say. Here's the thing about these two. Yeah, the women's match was fire. I thought you were going by. A brutal impact. <laughs> it's not just an ouch that hurts. From that point on, it makes it more difficult to catch your breath, to fill your lungs with air, yeah, to keep Max, going. Yeah, Canadian destroyer. Yeah, they're still But early. somehow both of these men are continuing to go kick after kick. Things are breaking Trades down here. Stiff kicks here. But neither man wants to budge. How are they physically Hollywood's doing kicking this? in the arm and shoulder. Zach. It's hard to tell who's got the advantage here. Both these men have kicked each other to death. Not they it was getting are the upper super human. How are they even breathing? 
missed. Miss. But Henry having the Oh, he did not knee, miss with that knee. By that knee. Drop kick but to the knee. Of the knee Henry takes out the knee of Hollywood hits the integrity. A flurry of offense here. Let me reiterate Waste that. Time, How Waste is time. either man breathing, let alone standing? No, these two have been throwing haymakers since the bell rang. They're leaving it all in the ring here, Trevin. This is all or nothing. Wait, that was last show. This is full effect here. And FIP, both these men have something to prove. And now Henry sees a prone Hollywood. Is this going to be another kick? No, gets out of the way. Does Hollywood trying to pull Henry through? Oh, no. Henry Missed able it. to change his gravity, stop things. Rolling through himself. He's got a pin. No. Whoa. But right into the submission, unbelievable. That's but it. Hollywood so long, like it took him. Oh my God. Near fall. Neither man slowing Hollywood down. Kick right from Henry that. taking Hollywood. out Hollywood. Nice sell. Hollywood oh, literally landing outside much much of the ring. And I don't even know if he really knows how he got outside of the ring. Oh, and Henry now up and over. Out Maybe looking for a kick of his own. Penalty kick. That. It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander as a punch. He just kicked him square in the fucking face. The force no connecting. Mass times acceleration. What a oh, time shoot. That's, That's another two. boot. Can he score his own trilogy here? I was calling him for one more. You know, Trevin, I promised myself before the show I would be nuanced, I would be analytical, and instead I just made a flurry of noises. Oh, there's the third during the pin exchange. Mm. But these two are fighting on another level. It's hard to keep up. And like Star Wars was four through six better than one through three. As Henry's coming to the ring to capitalize, but no! Hollywood, side to life, but guess what? You're a Pinfall! So the rock bottom, you're a Nagi. Yep, near fall. Okay, the crowd's invested in this too. This is the most. Even Henry thinks that was three. Getting into the You know it's close when the ref counts to two, and he's also surprised. Henry now coming to the top. If he's thinking what I think he's thinking, this is not good for Hollywood. Was going for the double stop. Missed. Saw Hollywood get out of the way, rolled through, but Hollywood's got an answer. Block the same. No. No. Henry had it scouted. Henry had it scouted. Back under. Springboard into a cutter. Center of the ring. Pitfall. Oh, so close. Oops. But Hollywood, the oh. urgency, the urgency. He's got him there into a lion tamer. Will the lion be tamed? Or we about to see the champion tap out in a non-title match? No rope breaks here. He had him in a tourist trap, but no. Yeah, but how good is Henry no rope breaks. knowing how to not just change, reposition, and pitfall? Still not oh. enough. They're turning the going down the stretch And my here. goodness, the damage that both of these men have done to each other. You can see Two close the effect, lines. but they refuse to stop. Adrenaline has to be flowing, but you're seeing it. At some point, the body says no, Zach. Trevin, you've been around wrestling long enough. You know for most of these men. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, Jump into hey. his feet is Anthony Henry. Kicked him right in the the face. kick. But Troy Hollywood. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Jumped six feet in the air. Two boots to the face. Both men are down. But I think he, that was a picture perfect drop. Kick. This could be a double knockout situation. I think, uh, the only Rando person I've seen this is the drop kick batter's agent. Trevin, as I said, you've been around wrestling long enough. You know, for most of these men, the matchup after matchup, eventually they become a blur. A match like this stays with a man for the rest of his career. We are seeing these different men now. after this matchup. Hollywood now grabbing a chair. I don't blame him. It's all legal in FIP, baby. That's it right now when you don't know what to throw at your opponent next. Throw something you normally can't throw at him. What has Hollywood got in mind? All right, Henry now finally back to his feet. Oh, perhaps looking for the execution part of one plan. What execution with a German. And that German suplex may have jumped the There's back. A huge if not the head of Troy Hollywood into that chair. Hollywood now. What damage has been done to him? You can see now Anthony Henry barely to his feet. Henry oh, not able to catch Hollywood. Hollywood caught by Henry. This is a blur, Zach. Well, as I said before, I'll say it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a pit. Wait a minute, Hollywood. The chair oh, oh, oh. Right between the eyes. This got to be a pitfall. Just a but Hollywood's not slowing down. Hollywood. He stays he's on top of him. He's not going to be walk up face. 
team. This has to be it. No. no. But not wasting time. Uh, uh, Back to the tourist trip. He's got him locked right in the center of the ring. Call it whatever you want right now. The series there. We could be seeing a submission situation. We could be seeing the FIP World Heavyweight Champion submitted. Oh, but look at Henry, though. He missed a great little series. Strength. And remember, there are no... Of course I did. It could have ended twice. FIP. However, rope break not needed there. He was able to pull himself out of that positioning and Hollywood better, lost his grip. I can tell you I wanted to complete my sandwich with that one because I'm telling yeah, you yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing great. I got some rice. I got some coffee. Awesome. Sometimes, Shevin, there are no words needed from us. Instead of being faithful, properly the Fans liking it. Right oh, yeah, they, they were buying into a big thing. Hollywood. What does he have this in is, mind this is for Anthony Henry? Fast. Again, this is swinging for the fence this time. This all is right. all haymakers. The time for subtlety is over. And now, second rope walk of fame. Oh, good. Out of the cards. Henry able to yeah, that looked dangerous. Out of that predicament, but Hollywood sees him coming with a boot of his own. And again, Hollywood, uh, high red district. Oh, but Henry cutting him off with a pass. Oh, I thought he was about to hop up in Seguri, but a dragon leg screw off the top is fine I've too. Never actually seen oh, that before. Oh, double stomp. Is what keeps Anthony right Henry alive. Oh, double stomp to the knee. Oh, oh to the knee. To the knee. Pinball. No. Not enough, but wait a minute. Again, stretch muffler. Oh, shit. Stretch muffler. And the damage was just under that knee. How long can Hollywood hold on? Come on, find a way out. Oh, and the kicks. Oh, and, and the leg scissor, injury. too? Insult to injury. Yeah, this is over. And he has got that leg completely contorted. He's going to have to tap. That's it. And indeed, Troy Hollywood finally got a what a match. Good job, guys. Good job. Zach. I like that player the dragon screw off the ropes into that leg muffler. That was that was pretty mean. Every title in FIP was on the line. Every title in Shine was on the line. The ACW, the combat title, they felt like it was all on the line. And while you see disappointment. From Troy Hollywood, no one should be disappointed with that showing. So few wrestlers in the sport can hang with a guy like Anthony Henry. He knows he's in a fight. He knows he was in a fight. So few guys. Oh, yeah. Both of them are going to wake up tomorrow and feel it. Like Anthony Henry, Troy Hollywood, tonight pushed the champion to the limits. Wait, what, what is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Anthony. Ted, where's my belt? Well, that answers a question. I don't know if you saw the oh. three. Oh, yeah, John Davis. The oh. physical championship belt. We no one seemed to have it. Now we know why. Hard. When John Davis is holding something, it's John Davis is now. Absolutely. No I've uh, like I've guy. worked a it's few John tables Davis. of shows that John Davis was at. Champion, making his way to the ring. And he absolutely has his belt in his hand. at this already. John's a big boy. Uh, just a little bit, yeah. Champion John Davis and the FIP World Heavyweight Champion. 
Anthony Henry, and I'm thinking it's time, Zach. Let's go for it. That belt that he's holding has got a little bit of legacy to it. That's uh, that's one of the old territory belts from down here. Snoop strikes. All right, commentary. You shooting out suit strikes everywhere he is. Mr. Stone. I don't think this is going to end well. For Stone. You forgot that dude, John Davis. And while I won't John know, Davis is a tough son of a bitch. What I know is that dude is John, a tough dude. Stay away for just a second. The, the better and the young suit strikes God. is a very, very agile, very I got you, no problem. Is that I've worked a few matches or a few shows where John Davis was on the table, or where I was on the table where John Davis was in the ring. I watched him have a pretty legendary match at the retirement of, uh, of a couple of local guys here in the Indies. Been interesting to see his career unfold. It's good to see that he's still doing it. spoke earlier about people really pushing themselves over the last year, getting in the best shape of their career and whatnot. I think Snoop Strikes is absolutely an example of that. He has transformed himself over the last year and has gotten, dare I say, faster, more agile than before. The Snoop Strikes now versus the Snoop Strikes a year ago, totally different animal. And he is talking a big old game to John Doe, dear God. Well, I'd say he better. Here we go. Better be careful if you poke the bear. Yeah, you can't call him out and then yeah, run from him. Like, that's not going to work. Comes to John Davis. Even if he doesn't mean to be playing these mind games to get across the ring from John Davis. If I was across the ring from John Davis and I moved in a way that caused his eyes to move just a little bit, I would consider that a victory as a mind game. He is that intimidating. He is that <laughs> If you put a heart rate monitor on Snoop Strikes right now. I think this young man has already burned 100 calories before John's even moved once. Whoa, whoa, Snoop whoa. lands on his feet. Oh! Getting out of the way, using that speed, that agility. Here's John. That Larry to hit you. Aye, 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 keep up. There's going to need to be like seven. Not going to happen, so homie. You need a lot more leverage pin. than that. Snoop not able to get the leverage for the pin, but again, still using that speed. Davis holds onto the ropes and throws him off the rope Snoop grab. Over. I'm telling you, Snoop knows that the urgency, he knows what bad things are oh. happening. I think we're about to see one. Say, John Davis. The John finally got his hands on him. Things. And Snoop strikes. You want to talk about life flashing before your eyes. Every single time John Davis gets his mitts on you, your life Oh, drop over. kick John to the, the knee. Mistake. Takes a wheel out from under Davis. Big lariat. Send him to the mat. Just a one. One of the limbs. Davis in the pin. Standing rotation over that shoulder goes for a roll up. Tries to go over that small package, but can't even make him go. Oh, and a thumb to the eyes. Oh, John sends him right through the ropes to the crowd. Oh, he saw John coming out of the ring and got the fuck out of the way. Nine lives like a cat. He's burning them all tonight. He might be getting in the ring with Davis, but I'll give credit to Snoop. Right now, Davis has not been able to catch and slow down the challenger very much. And that got Vince Aguirre over the top. Could have slowed down the champion. Maybe not. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Duck Thunder. Looking for that huge DDT. Oh, no. Oh, 
All this momentum just doesn't have enough ass to get that DDT. John with a big shoulder block turns him inside out. And as the Orpheum, the FIP faithful come alive for the FIP Florida Heritage Champion, John Davis surveys the damage. And Snoop was not in a good place. Snoop strikes. I'm telling you, the size differential here. No weight limits mm. in the Florida Heritage Champion, or Florida Heritage Division, excuse me, as the champion with that strike, that kick to the back of Snoop. Snoop, you had a great run. Uh, there are moments of this match will, which will look great on yeah. your reel. Um, it, it's yeah, but you are in danger, sir. And, uh, we'll remember you as a hero. Davis driving, spine first, Snoop into the corner, into the turnbuckle with authority. I'm telling you, Zach. Oh, no! No, 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 mm. Snoop, he had such a bright future ahead of him. Don't do this, John. Not like this. Doesn't matter what I was about to tell you because mm. not only did John Davis just light up the chest of Snoop Strikes, here in the uh, Kumite, the FIP faithful are demanding another chop. Concussive Ugh. taking down Snoop. God. Whatever strategy, whatever plan, whatever thought process or philosophy that Snoop Strikes had coming into this. I think I'm about, I, mean, I think it's actually like a six or seven hour drive from here. And while Davis controls the pace, nothing good can happen for Snoop. Snoop dumped outside of the ring, and I got to point Whoa. out. First time I might almost be catching my breath since the Snoop was making a great momentum to be faster and stay away from John. But now he's fighting desperate and fighting a man the size of John Davis. Desperate is not where you want to be. And maybe not Snoop strikes for long. Well, as like that is that is the bad place. You do not want to find yourself in this dark alley. They all three had unbelievable blockbuster matchups ahead of them. And Snoop, I think, had the... John says, no, 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 no. Come back here. I'm not done yet. Oh, my God. Oh! Again, the pain on the face of Snoop Strikes tells the story here, ladies and gentlemen. If you have ever been shocked before, and I know most of you probably have not, if you've ever run into something suddenly and not expected it, it knocks the wind out of you, every one of those feels like that. And that slam feels about the same. Oh, God! Stunned that Snoop... Did not go through the ring. The ass behind that power slam, John, dude. I'm telling you, look at him. You would think this was the Serengeti right now. This man, like a predator. Yeah, John looks like he is tired of fucking with Snoop all. Oh. And the tone, if you all see together. The look on the crowd's face, it's just so nasty. It's partial nasty. hooray, hooray for the violence, and partial let him go, John. He's got such a future ahead of him. You can't end it like this. Jesus. Oh, I don't think John has any plans of ending anything until he takes all of the life out of the body of Snoop Strikes. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, the knee. The distance he got to get that knee. I won't call it emphatic. Good Lord. Snoop's throwing up. But at the like end of the day, figure. he's throwing this match up. John Davis, dude, I've seen him fight several times. He's always been a tough powerhouse, dude. He's always been very methodical. His technical base is very good. Who wants to catch a wrestler, he says. Looking for some volunteers for some audience participation. You want to catch him? A wrestler. I think... John is threatening. Oh Jesus, this could be dangerous as fuck. At the FIP faithful, this is really? not I think he is. I think he's looking for a direction to throw him. Here's the other thing. Before this match, God. Troy Hollywood was talking an awful lot of trash on social media to John Davis. That John Davis was in the sights of OAO. I have to wonder now, has Troy Hollywood doomed his own teammate? By talking yeah. to the level of trash before this matchup. Oh no. John's got him up. Please oh. do not throw. Are we going to see uh, shades of uh, little Snoop Dug Dudley here? Is, are, are we? Like a long dart. 
Sean Strong. Oh, Snoop. Wait Snoop a going for the face smartly. Hey. I ain't mad at you. Some in the eyes, one some. way to slow a man down. Diving through. Oh, dude, he was Snoop about to lawn dart him into the third or fourth Side row. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The knee of your opponent. Yeah, a big guy like John, you've got to take a wheel out from under him. You must, must slow that fucker down. Yeah, Snoop, continuing the onslaught. You can see he's now targeted. It's pretty clear whether it's the knee and the ankle or just the knee. Heck, he saw how well that worked out for Anthony Henry in the previous match. Not just that though, this is an evolution of his So then there's no rope breaks? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, I think ECW, right? that's, that's what I've picked up throughout Stu Strikes trying to outrun John Davis since the beginning. Now, the evolution is, well, if I slow him down further, maybe I got a shot at running away from this. That's it, he'll never catch me. And I was trying to catch right in the, the hamstring, man. To see what it be daunting after that emphatic kick out he by the champion. Right the ass this young man is not. He is still going. He is not messing around. We talked earlier about Troy Hollywood, Anthony Henry, and I think like that one was in the no-no berries. You're looking at a man who not only has been the most dominant FIP Florida Heritage Champion in this company's history, you are looking at a man who epitomizes the heritage of FIP. And all Florida With that hamstring wrestling. again? I said at the very start, he is the epitome of FIP and Florida wrestling. And can you imagine if a sharpshooter, no, kick it away. Cool. Again, I feel like it was him off easy. To get a sharpshooter attached to John Davis. Now Snoop's not slowing down. He's and he said it time. would take six of this to dude just off, to get one tell, attached. Hold up. Like a wounded animal. We talked to Sarah Giddy earlier. At some point, even the king of the pride finds himself dethroned. Oh. And is this going to be that? Oh. Right on the Davis mind. eats a super kick. John Josh. Shoves him off. John pushing him off, but Snoop, not only does he keep up. Interesting he series up. here by Strike. I was going to say, combo, combo, out of Snoop Strike. Again to that drop kick to the leg. He's dropped Davis to a knee. His speed is really making the difference here. Ugh, just not enough damage to do the permanent put down. John definitely favoring that leg, though. I don't know why we're not sponsored by an oil surgeon at this point. Uh, and Snoop Strikes does not know what area code he's in right now. You're not sponsored what by an oral surgeon because we are in Florida, sir, and only half the population still has their teeth. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, a shiny wizard has knocked this young man's I got half of mine. But he did not. Wow. Let me repeat that. Sean Davis did not pin Snoop Strikes. I think deep down, maybe John Davis is impressed. And the crowd getting behind the crowd. The crowd's getting here. behind Snoop. The crowd's impressed. I mean, you take a beating and a fight and to the guy like this for long enough, and eventually somebody's going to be proud of you, but that chop is not a way to keep it going. chop is the right idea. Like you said, Snoop now trying to use the speed. Call by John. No, sir. Oh, he nice counters into the Hurricane Rana. And, a hurricane Rana. and another. Taken down all of John Davis. And again, Snoop so quick. Rolls oh, under. That, oh, he yeah, he did. Springboard. Wow, what a cross body. Cover. Almost missed Two that. Champion. Oh, my God. He was far across the ring, though. He was more than halfway. So I'll give him props for landing that one. And you got to think that's what's going through the head right now of Snoop Strikes. Snoop Strikes looking to do the impossible here tonight. Oh, oh shit. Driving Snoop right to the mat. Uh-oh. John's not done. Oh. Oh, whoa. Still not very close by strike there. And now Snoop. Half 
Rolls him over. Gets the single leg. And perfect product placement, I might add. Right in the center of the ring. There's no way that John doesn't power right out of that, though. Yeah. And when you have tree trunks for legs, you can Yeah, he did not have the leverage to keep John on the mat like that. differential perhaps just made a, not just a difference, but was the moment. Oh, Tornado DDT spins him all the fuck away around. What a move by Strike. He's going up. Snoop strikes up at the top. What a splash! Big splash. I'm not sure who that really hurt. I think he was thinking. Does not frog get the three. I think he was thinking frog splash and it just didn't work out for him. Well, I just the... I don't know that he's got enough weight to do damage to Davis from up there. Like I don't I don't think he's got the ass behind him to do it. No, He's got to keep up with like that tornado DDT and moves like that. Those those drop kicks to the knee to keep him on the mat. Those big heavy hitters. He's got to use Davis's own weight and momentum against him. Oh, like that. Become the Florida Heritage Champion. It just comes down to weight. Snoop is what? Maybe a third of John's size? It's so difficult to keep that. John is like three of Snoop. Oh! Shoulders, but Snoop doing everything he's got. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, oh God! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no, no! That was violent. He's out. He's out. He's out fucking cold. He just ragdolled his ass. Yeah, ain't no shit, Ace. Goodbye, Spot. Yeah, he's out fucking cold. Damn. Out cold. You saw the lights go fucking out in Florida. Right then and there. Night night. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about a decisive end to a match? He's making the X himself. He's like, hey, somebody bring a bitch out here. This motherfucker's done. That's two FIPs in a row where John Davis has knocked his opponent out. Strike is fucking, he's trying to figure out where the fuck he's even at right now. He is glazed as shit, bro. I think all of us, including John Davis, very impressed. I would go as far as to say, I have seen the future of professional wrestling, and his name is Snoop Strikes. Mm. He's walking. That's good. Yeah, sort of. He is wobbling. <laughs> Strikes. Yeah, Max, I agree. Outside of uh, outside of, of Pinky Purple, outside, I think this show's been really good. God. I'm just. <laughs> You think? John Davis is what happened. We don't have to watch it back to see what happened. We saw it. He fucking. Well, no, he's saying Snoop is going to have to watch it back to even find out what the fuck happened for the last five minutes. Oh, no, that's fact. <laughs> Dude, his arms ragdolled so hard after that. Oh, we got another tag team match coming. Oh, 
Hunter Law. We've seen him on another show before. Have we? I think we have. He looks familiar. I don't know if he was going by the same name, but he absolutely looks like we've seen him on another show. Oh, we need to find another show with old Gil Anderson on this sure. Right? Has the opportunity tonight to leave in full force. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, how to take notes on it, just having a match just get ended. Yeah, that one just ended. That match was over. Leon Ruff. You know, it's um, the WWN is a network of wrestling federations that all work together. Uh, it's like multiple territories that all function as a big company. So they do have quite a few belts. <laughs> uh, yeah, Keith was in uh, WWE. He was in NXT for a hot minute. One half of the Evolve Tag Team Champions. You got a young man I believe. in the form of Leon Ruff, whose career has been skyrocketing, and a young man in the form of Hunter Law, who would love, love to jump on that rocket by defeating Leon Ruff. Don't don't what say it like that. What a victory tonight mean for Hunter Law. Nope. Not only that, nope. uh, by my count, it's been a little The commentator is talking about how Law wants to jump on a rocket, and I don't think that that's the way they meant it. Negotiation skills here. Hunter Law claiming innocence here, looking for just pure competition. Yeah, no, kick him in the nuts, give him a DDT, go home for the night. between what's now OAO and the Skulk. No, I think he should kick you in the balls, DDT you in your face, and then go home for the night. I think he should just call it. Let's go. He has denied him a second time. No. Ooh. Or a small package. All right, that's fine. Oh! He almost walked right into that. Exactly. And what he's finding out right now is... Twice. You better keep your composure. Because if you lose your cool against Leon Ruff, this is a very... Not just talented young man, but... You can see right now the focus. Leon Ruff mm. keeps getting better. Nice. Better. Shoulders. Very intense shoulders in the corner here. Ooh. When you're going up against Leon Ruff, you have got to be. He's like, I'm gonna get my handshake, boy. <laughs> oh. Sort of a snap mare out of the corner. Rough kip up into an arm drag. Step over arm drag. Up and over goes Ruff. Here comes Hunter Law. Block. Ooh, and I'm telling you, Zach, right now, Ruff drives him face first into the corner. Oh! Okay, that was a great series. That was a great series by Ruff. You like that? Anytime you're a step ahead of your opponent, I like it. Oh, 
But thankfully for Ooh. Ball, was able to catch the boot Uh-oh. of Leon Ruff and uh oh. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Nope. Block. Counter. Maybe. Nope. Block. Around the ropes. And slides right inside. Oh! Again. He's just eating those fucking hands. Oh! Super kick. Oh! What a right, That was a well placed boot to the mouth. Oh, shit. Oh. Snap suplex on that thin padding. I mean, I don't think it's a holy shit moment. Okay. I mean, you got a good snap on that. It's all right. By what Hunter Law has been able to bring offensively. Pitfall. Rolls through. Just a two. That OAO and Skulk have been through a lot, but you were looking at two factions absolutely on the rise in professional wrestling. That dude's yeah, got like a Bianca Belair style. Nothing to do uh, with that history. Ponytail I'm going. Putting it aside because I'm sure both men would love a little more. I mean, I like it. As well as it's very reminiscent. Face of You've got to whip it. Leon Ruff just being ripped whip up. Whip it good. By Hunter Law, but what I was about to say is. This really comes down to two young men on the rise. And I think Hunter Law is more than aware of what a win here tonight would mean throughout all of the World Wrestling Network, let alone the sport. You'd think Big Hunter chop Law in the corner here. A little bit more tan, considering this is an equal suit. I mean, we still have our pasty white guys down here, too. Oh! Answers the big backhands of his own. No, I think we're looking at two of the Cut off. brightest futures in professional Big wrestling. elbow. These two young men, so good so early in their careers. We are getting such... such right. Follows him in with an elbow. Competing cover. Two. <clears throat> Just a two. Locks in deep on that sleeper. In control here. Cutting off the oxygen. Two He's way under the chin there. Oh, yeah, he is. I like Law the making style. space for those elbows. I like both of these kids. They they both have a really sharp style about them. I think Law is a little bit uh, he's a little bit arrogant still. Like he hasn't made enough momentum to taunt the crowd. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, I'm getting Brian Kendrick vibes. I can see that. Oof. Can't help but notice holding on to the tights to keep control of Ruff. Ruff lands on his feet, though. Oh! Oh! oh. He might have landed on his feet, but he ate that lariat, boy. Damn. Just a two count. Damn sure did. Oof. The words came out of my mouth. That's it. I thought this young man had lost his head, and how smart was Hunter with the very rapid, quick into the pin. And continuing the offensive now. Nice suplex. Right there, the pain going through the body of Ruff into the cross face. Center. Floats over. Like what I call the Canadian Hunter cross Continues face. Continues to get better and better every time we see him in the ring. Getting so smart. And you can see Ruff. Wait, counter by Ruff. I was like, he's not trying to go for the ropes, is he? Good counter to that pin. Oh, Ruff catches him. Not enough to capitalize on it, though. Did buy him a minute, though, to recover. Oh, he got cut off again. Trying to stay one step ahead. Big shot. Irish whip. Ooh. And now, Ruff coming back to life. Just the explosive power of their shots here. And once again, Almost like Ruff two flying forearms. Got him with a cutter. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Just a two. I'm impressed. I thought that was the match right there. When he le when he leapt off and got that cutter on him, I thought that was over. 
trained at WWA4 in Atlanta. Pretty clear head Gotta get up, Ruff. You can't just Fox lay there. WWN training centers. A little bit of air off Fox and a beautiful, beautiful counter. And Hunter now struggling to get to his feet. Ooh. And I'll tell you, we saw this earlier from Ruff and Hunter. It goes back to. Oh! But Law saw this one coming. Fool me once. Positioning in a bad way. Oh. From the suplexes, is it? No. Only a two. Still just a two. Rough is out. To keep down one third of skull. Now, that's the thing. Yeah, he is struggling right here. He's been struggling most of this match to get any kind of offense really moving without getting cut off. If Ruff intends to win this match, he's going to have to do it fast. Connects with the kick. So does he. So does he again. And again, these two. Oh. Maria connects from Ruff. Abs absolutely existing on another level here, Trevin. Oh, went for the Enziguri, did not get it. But gets him up into the German pitfall. No. Mm. Nice bridge pin. And you could see the look on Hunter Law's face. I think he was just as shocked that he kicked out. Absolute desperation, though. He just needs to get this win finished. One of them's gonna have to put one up away. The other, excuse me. Caught again. What do I need to do to beat the other man? And right now, Hunter might have an answer. I'm not a fan of, of Ruff getting very, cut off every other position. fucking move. Hunter's trying to hook him into a Nelson, but no. Fighting off is Leon Ruff. Ruff up and over. Hunter rolls through Ooh. and hits the kick. Oof. I'm telling you, these men. It's a I think at this point, both men are just kind of rolling on desperate measure. Oh, wait a minute. Caught Ruff. Oh. Matt Nelson. Oof. Double underhook suplex there. Oh. Tiger oh. Bomb. Two. Double underhook power bomb. Two. Stacks up. Oh, just a two. Well, Trevin, you mentioned that. Uh, you know, these guys have got to be wondering, like, oh, what's it going to take? What's it going to take? At this point, I'm thinking, they're going, what else do I possibly have? I've There's no telling what it's going to have, what it's going to take. I, I, I truly have no the idea. The drawing board is full. Where else can I go from here? Well, I think there's one thing, one saying, one plan, so to speak. And if the execution is successful, no, gets out of the no. way. Wait a minute. Went for it, but no, small package. This has all been about having Just each other two. They both know each other so Duck well under. Already. Caught in the oh. ropes. Duck so under. Oh! oh. Got him that time. This has to be it. Pinfall. Yeah, that wizard is gross. Oh. Law and drills him. But just a two, he manages to kick out. Gets the first leg hooked. Notices that second leg was closer to the rope. Grabs it. Additional torque into the pin. Not able to put away Leon Ruff. Say, desperate times combined with absolute ring awareness. Hunter Law has got a lot of tricks up his sleeve, but as I said, the second I half of the show up to the top here. Really I'll say that. I mean, realistically, the first match wasn't that great, and then things have been pretty crazy since then. Oh. Ruff absolutely using the, the leverage over the ropes to block that. Dumps him off. Rolling crucifix pin. Got him. And he was way over the top, too. He folded him in half, dude. Law is in a very, very precarious position. Not a bad match. I liked it. That was pretty good. High energy. These guys really had a had a lot to show.
not just a victory for Leon Ruff, but three losses for OAO. But I'm telling you, you talk That's about rough. the stock rising in the sport of professional wrestling. Hunter Law, Snoop Strikes, Troy Hollywood, these three young men. They showed something to me tonight. They asked for these matches. But now there's something to be said for asking for, for challenging things. Rough with a big win there. For, uh, Law probably not good. very happy about that. Got to think OAO is going to want to regroup a bit, but... I mean, he ain't got nothing to, to hold his head. About learning. Hold his head down. And if OAO comes back just a little bit better, I can only imagine. And in fact... Life has a start and a future. And in a moment, we are about to see the, potentially the future of the sport of professional wrestling. You can't just tease that and not be that. So I better be big. One fall. Satin. Satine, sorry. Cyrus Satine. Cyrus Satine. Pun intended of all here throughout the World Wrestling Network. Chuck Man moving down into this geography. A student at the WN Training Center. And his opponent. Oh, we saw him on the opening intros. Yeah, he cut the really weird bro. Said we were, he was going to do things that made no sense. So let's find out if any of this match makes any sense. This is a big match feel. This could be one of those moments you point back to and say this is when a career or careers were made. You want to talk about potential rookies of the year. Zachary Cooper just recently made it past his first official year on the Indies. And yes, he's 248. But what this guy can do in the ring makes no sense. In fact, you see right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Satine was trying to throw him off balance. Zach planted himself, and my goodness, what a chop. Satine using that speed. Chop of his own. It's like Cooper looking to take the fins off of the aqua pro. Oh. Unique places the chop going at. This guy's got a Walter thing going on. You won't be surprised when I say this. There's a certain UK champion known as Walter. Definitely an inspiration oh, they just called him out. for Zachary Cooper. But right now, Satine was trying John is to sweet. jockey for position. It said pushed by the strength of Cooper into the corner here. But wait, look at Satine. He's That's got so the fingers. Oh, no. The <clears throat> Aquabra continues to try to outmaneuver, to outthink. I haven't seen him do anything yet that was just didn't make a lot of sense. I haven't seen him do anything that, that did make a lot of sense, but... Oh! I'm going to say, they don't make them much tougher or harder hitting than Zach Cooper. I have had the pleasure of seeing both these men compete on the ACW Proving Grounds. Oh, wait a minute here. 
Oh, yeah, it didn't make sense that he just laid there for that. Okay. Two count only. Cooper now having to regroup. Oh, but he might be right. He might re be the Aquabra Splash Zone. Nope. No. Oh. He saw that shit and Samoa Joe his ass. He's like, no, no, no. It looked like it was going to be a springboard. Into the that time. Oh, Cyrus Satine was just thrown into the pillar that holds the building up. That was not the ring post. That was the support pillar for the roof. Making himself at home very quickly. Oh, no, no, no. And he may be looking to set up a residence for the summer in Chop City. Wait, 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 whoa! Well, I mean, that's the okay. building up, bro. But nobody wow. in the pool, and Cooper might whoa. have just taken himself out. All right, so no, he's lived up to what he said in the promo. He is absolutely doing shit that doesn't make any sense. Like rolling cannonballs at the fucking pillar to the ceiling. Oh, shit. Where's the team going? He's up on the stage, boss. A mid-air adjustment on that splash and comes crashing down on Cooper. How many human beings... How many human beings can turn 180 in the air and the force, the damage done, the damage At least that one. Competitors right. Got to think the ribs of Satine and Payne. Oh, the knees as well. You heard them hit that hardwood floor. And what appreciation here for both talents. So quickly accepted by the FIP faithful here. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, oh. huge chop. Oh. That boot. Perhaps that boot was big. Cyrus oh, yeah. what? oh, shit. 248. A one handed headstand on the apron. Oh, he smashed the shit out of that hand. He was trying to flash you away. That was smart. Avoid the strike from Satine and Satine smartly hitting that hand, crashing him down. Pitfall. And you got to think if Zach wasn't trying to show off. He wouldn't be in this kind of danger. Oh, into the arm bar with the wrist. Trying to separate those fingers. Yep. Every ounce of your being will say submit. Submit. He's going to rip my fingers off. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stand over. Rolls. Neither man slowing down. And again. Backslide. Backslide. That was a fast backslide, too. He yanked him right over. Oh! There's a team Running here for an uppercut. Backslide wasn't enough, but he said, I don't care. Oh, my God. Good fucking night. Oh. How? How did that not end this fucking match? How did that not end his fucking life, dude? Holy shit. The man wrestles like the cheat codes are enabled. He makes no <laughs> sense. Unbelievable. That Took kick was fire. And Satine's still fighting an uphill battle here. Yeah, but Zach's finding himself in a bad place. Cooper's in trouble. And Satine's going to be able to use the ropes. No, he's not. Ooh. Ooh. Double overhand shot. And again. Cooper, like you said. Those overhand shots. Jesus. Concussive force. Oh! I'm sorry. Did he just sent on and change direction in air? Pickle! He absolutely did just spin over in mid senton, yeah. These two absolutely showcasing that there is a new generation coming to FIP. The future is right here in the ring. I, I, I'm still replaying in my head. Wait a minute. What's the team got? Oh! <laughs> he just... Those chops said, I don't care what you're trying to do. Donkey Kong chopping his ass. Team. Poseidon to Pitfall! Two, just a two count. Oh, Cooper Clutch! Nope. Clutch Pulls him over. The team's in a bad way. Center of the ring. He is way locked up, too. He's oh, deep yeah. under. He's got the leg scissor. Oh! Great counter there. Oh, right into that rib cage. Oh, and Cooper 
puts the team down. Bob right back for round two. Pitfall one. Those spinning kicks on this kid are devastating. He gets so much torque to that boot. Talk about two guys looking to prove themselves to not look a gift in the mouth. This is what we're seeing. They have so much to prove here. They need to be a part of this by pain. Yeah, but Satine fighting back. We've seen the heart oh, that this young man has. We've seen the strength. We've seen him nearly defeat the FIP World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Henry at the Proven Ground. We saw him nearly become the ACW Heavyweight Champion. But right now, Cooper taking back control. Oh, big forearms. Oh. Giant feet, dude. This guy's feet are just fury. There he goes. We saw that tryout on the floor. It didn't go so good for him, but he definitely nails it that time. Is he going to run that knee straight through his head? Tell me he's not going coast to coast. If I could describe this match, it certainly appears it like. Would be, Come on, you animals. Who wants to live forever? And he didn't even come close to it. That was 18 feet. I mean, he was close, but he definitely didn't make it as far as he'd like to. Gets the win, though. Good win for him. Not a fan of the finish because I saw what I saw. Should have pulled him out. I mean, picked him up and did something else and then took it home. But I get it. I give him an A for effort. I mean, it's a big boy to try that. But it's a big and he's probably hit it nine out of ten times. That's the one time. That was the semi main event of the night. And these two men delivered. I was wondering what we were going to see there for a second. You see the show of respect from Zachary Cooper and Satine Eskin. The hug. All right. Phenomenal, phenomenal showing from both of these athletes. As impressed. Not a bad match. Not great. A little, a little sloppy, but not bad. Oh, it's main event time. One fall. Love the fact Hey, it's a tag guys. main event. Are on the line in the main event. Dig it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Damian Priest is cousin. Okay. I mean, he's a spitting image, just not as big. In the face. The one up on the ropes right now. A young fucking Damian Priest. Could be his fucking cousin. The crowd's with them too. But at the end of the day, just like the sound guy cut off that celebration, the unstoppable force of the precipice took control, leverage, skinny Vinny, and the Oh, well, we saw these guys in the intro. Chance Aaron and Omar Amir with a skinny Vinny. Remember, honestly, being here in the 
WWN across all of our brands and not seeing these two men with gold around their waist. I dare say the best tag team in all of the World Wrestling Network. Precipice has arrived. It is main event time. I am excited. Challengers, yeah. coming in a combined weight of 327 pounds from the ATL, they are Liam Gray, Adrian Alanis, the Well, let's see what they've got for him. Oh my god. I thought we were done with the annoying management. Uh, we're not. Okay. I wish we were. Who the fuck cares? Nobody. Nobody cares no who one. you are. You're, this is this is not about you. This isn't your moment. Oh Lord! Oh my fucking God! Bland. I would call him mid, but that would be disrespecting everyone who's mid. Pretty sure that's a you suck chant going on. I don't. He's about to get muted. So he's about. That's what what's about to happen. Well, at least he's not as annoying as the other guy. Okay, are we done now? I am all for ah, fuck it, folks. So. But I got news for you, ladies and gentlemen. You can boo precipice for hours, for years. They don't care. They are confident, and they back it up. For the wrestling to be not terrible, you would think that the managers would be not there especially for the skulk yeah no no the it like it's like the ring work has been practiced but the mic skills have been hoped for for those championships so close so close did they come back at all or nothing but at the end of the day more shoes and hand grenades my friends omar amir <laughs> the massive omar amir this young man gets larger and larger all muscle every time I see him, and surprisingly for the skull, Liam Gray, the one starting it. What? Whoa! Liam Gray just, just dove and he just out took out Skinny Vinny straight through the middle. Chances. Right into the crowd. And probably hurt somebody in the ringside. And it, it hurts somebody in the chair. I saw a kid coming out of that row. The Skulk is my favorite tag team that has ever existed and will ever exist. Yeah, chance we're on finally coming to realize and trying to get his oh. great, but that distraction allowing Omar Amir by the hair to bring him great, but no great hanging Omar off the top. Here's Adrian Alanis. No reverse. Ducks the calls on and a dive from Alanis taking out Chance Ora. And they do it again. He goes to the outside. The definition here. Oh, look at Omar throwing those huge arms. 
Ohar is just ham fisted clubbing it. Waited into both of them. Oh. One half of the tag team champions isolated. Liam Gray thrown in by his partner. And assisted into the Yorinagido backbreaker. Yeah. And they're not nice. Done. Oh, oh, oh. The oh ho! We're about to have new tag team champions. I was going to say, they just... Uh, was that a cutter into a backbreaker? Yeah, just see how quick uh, Omar was able to escape as he's caught you know, in the gut. I'm telling you, Amir is a tough man. I'm not here for, for I forgot what I just saw. But, uh, the scope came into this thing with one These two are absolutely working very well together. And they are looking to dethrone one of the most dominant teams. Ah, uh, talking about Skull. They boot from Alanis. Omar is in trouble, people. Hmm. Two count only, but I'm telling you right now, as much as I respect the Skull, they deserve to be number one contenders here in FIP. Precipice. When you talk about the unit, and that is what tag team wrestling's about, have been a unit for so long, I think both of them can complete each other's thoughts and sandwiches. I actually did that to you earlier. Oh, Wait, got that leg. Chance, Big clothesline. The Over the top, right to the floor. To one heck of a right back to that same fan spot. Yeah, they must not like who's sitting. Or who was sitting there anyway, because they're not sitting there anymore. Oh! Did you see the force that Damn! Was thrown into the apron as well as I oh. right now. Oh those base subwoofers are. There is no give. That may be harder than steals Atlantis is thrown into the post. Goodness. And what I was starting to say there, and and you're seeing it. The thing is, when the unit works together. The intensity of Precipice here is pretty hefty. And as good as the Skulk has yeah. become as a unit, they're being measured against the... Like, I was real impressed with the way Skulk was working together. But damn, dude. By Omar Amir. And that chance. Directing traffic. Ring's been cut off. Well, Trevin, you don't become a dominant tag team champion dynasty by accident that's a good word that really oh a good word because it feels like in the tag team as chance or with that jaw jacket and out going with her shoulder tackles mm. oh big shoulder in the corner dynasty. whenever they go they are the champions they are the new england patriots of the tag team division in wwn and chance is just Toying with Alanis, cutting off the ring. So oh, right to the gut, too. Can see his partner can't get there. And you can see Alanis just thrives, or should I say chance? Oh, oh, he's just trying to bury that boot in the midsection. The damage he is putting Stomp in straight body. through the stump. Yeah, right into the sternum, yeah. You pointed it out earlier. The Skulk are young. They're hungry. They have the heart. But the difference is the precipice have no heart. This is just a day at work. They are here to hurt people. Damn. And that's what they do. No heart needed. No feelings needed. You literally said they have no heart. Atlantis tossed through the center out to the outside. Shoved straight to the floor. Oh, danger space. And that is what Precipice is here about. They want to be the best. They want to make the most money. They want to hold those tag team championships forever. They're going to need. They're a very physically em 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 empowering team. Like they're just yeah, dominating. They even over the heavy on this other team. Yeah, Atlantis doesn't seem to be getting a lot of space to make a lot of momentum because he keeps getting cut off. This is, this is the thing we've been seeing all shows. Somebody goes to get momentum but gets cut off a lot. I'm really not trying to insult Omar when I say this, but you talk about brains and brawn. Omar is definitely the brawn. Chance is definitely the brains. Just so happens both have a little bit of the other. Right. You say they're both, I would say, desperate shots to the gut. 
and the fact that they are both a team and work so well together yeah, makes them so dangerous. Oh! The, oh! The Omar just followed him in with a big splash. Oh. I think he just jumped 10 feet to tackle that man, and he's powering him up. Oannis is a huge man, and he just got manhandled. The absolute personification of the cliche manhandle. Put that in the encyclopedia. Just happened. Pinfall. No. Oannis kicks. Only a two. That's what happens when you don't go for that cover. Hyperbole. Yeah, they're not capitalizing. Taking too long. He's picking up the wrong lessons. Yeah. There he goes. Pat yourself on the back. You got to pin the man. Oh, look at chance. Right into that kidney. Goes in with those, I dare say, kidney punches. Not taking his eye off his opponent. The intensity in his face. The body scissors. Snap mare, leg scissor. Every moment that chance has a Lannis there in the center of the ring. Just driving those knees into the lower ribs there. Putting all the pressure into those floating ribs, driving the air out. Atlantis is going to make the cover. I mean, not the cover, the tag. Jesus fucking Christ. One heck of a clothesline as the entire Orpheum crescendos the booze. Or under the care. Stomp straight out of the midsection. Again, like I said, heartless. Heartless. The smirk on the face of Chance Oran. He's just giggling about it, too. It's like he doesn't even care. So many times we've seen Precipice victorious. We've seen them dissect. Front face lock holds him in place. And I think it's about to happen again. Lifts him wide open, oh, but misses. Perhaps cracks in the foundation here. Roll up. Duck under, roll up. Yeah, two count. Just a two. Over the top. Diving tag. The pace is quick and starting to. Oh! That was like a standing swan time, and he's not slowing down here, catching Amir coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Uh oh! Tying him up like a pretzel. That is a giant man. Pitfall. Omar Amir with with a little bit of stank on him. Yeah, but even an exploder and then some not enough, but Liam Gray. Big stomp there. Down. And you can tell the urgency in the offense. What are you giggling Gray. at? Gray knows this is that moment, but there's Oron. Where did he come from? The fuck are you doing? And Watching a match, what are you doing? Oron. No, you're blowing kisses and bullshit. What the hell are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. I had a phone again, call. The power. Oh. Hoists him up. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Over the top, to the outside, right into that same fan spot. I wonder if they did that spear through the middle early so they could get the fans clear for the rest of the spots in that space. For those of you who bet on the skull tonight... All bets are off. Yeah, I, I'm telling you. This is, again, the, the theme of this show has been that the bar continues to be raised. The tag team division. Oh, shit. Damn. Did you see the distance he flew? And again, this is like the Kumite, the Orpheum. They want blood and security trying like crazy to get the fans out of the fucking way. Nobody's listening. Omar's fighting and beating on Alanis. For everything we've seen tonight, seems like these these men keep innovating the violence. Oh, this is gonna end badly. This is going to end very badly. Trying to fight off Omar. And it 
Oh shit! Oh. Oh. Okay. Woo. At least they landed it safe. Yeah. Facts. That was the only positive. Ooh. When he went to go for that spear off the stage, I was really worried that was going to be a bad land. When I saw both guys outside to catch and save it, and that was that was okay. That was not bad. Good God. And somehow, somehow any of these men are back to their feet. Well, we got two men back in the ring. Do I have what it takes to become a professional wrestler? It's matches like this that might tell you, you might want to think twice. And the precipice looking to put away the skunk, but Atlantis saying, hey, you boys ought to know. Man, the two is not one to mess around, but again, the power. It's two on one. Ooh, we have seen this before. The spine buster about to take his head off. No, off our precipice does not happen. Instead, the counter from Adrian Alanis. The miscommunication. Uh oh. Oh, this gets clothesline. Nice clothesline there. Continue. You see Gray now struggling, trying to fight off Omar. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hurricane Rana into the support beam. That beam's seen a lot of action tonight. And here comes Liam Gray. Alanis calling for his partner to get in the ring. The two on one advantage. Chance Oron. The exhaustion setting in. Um. Dogger. Yeah, I wonder how much that was planned out the way it was supposed to be. I don't know what that was supposed to be to begin with, but from top to bottom, I would say no. The bar has continued to be raised okay. in terms of talent, in terms of these people putting their bodies on the line. <laughs> the only thing that I could possibly think that would be would be a suplex into a double neck breaker that just neither one of them had possession of the neck. Was in the right place, yeah. Here's Omar Amir trying to fight off Adrian Alanis. Liam Gray, whatever he had in mind, now sees the, the peril Alanis is in, trying to come to his aid, but... The two on one seems to be working for the skull, but my god, how much work it took to hit that DDT! Are we having new tag champs? One, two, skinny Finny! He stopped the ref's hand from hitting the mat. We should have new champions. I mean, that is one way to stop that from happening. That's shocking, number one. And not only did Vinny stop the three count. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm here for it. I hear that crowd. Um, oh, I think Vinny realized he's in a bad way. And the crowd has decided justice is safe. Oh. Orpheum's coming unglued. Skinny oh. Vinny. At least he bumps well. That's for sure. But now the yeah, he bumps like a rubber band. For fuck's sake. Uh-oh. Shades of all or nothing. He's caught Atlantis off guard. No, Atlantis ducks it. Larry and not able to connect. Both men jockey for position weight. Here's Omar. Woo! Again, that height from Amir. And they're not done. Release German. Omar's on the top. How the hell's Omar on the top? Oh. Mm. Huge Lariat. Like a battering ram from the heavens. Oh, 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 oh no. And this is it. Precipice is going to Rotino. Oh, shit. Gray. That knee. Well, I said, oh shit. Use his body to knock Chance's body into Omar's body. Save Alanis. The match how unbelievably goes on. We've got four bodies in the ring. Skinny Vinny is now street pizza. This match has had it all. It just goes to show you how hard fought these tag titles are. 
There is no other tag division like this one. It is all on the line here, folks. Main event for a reason. Oh, yeah, and you can tell how prestigious the FIP World Tag Team Championship is mm. as Chancellor on that fighting Liam Gray on the on the apron. And now here's Omar Amir fighting off Adrian Landis, who's trying to get to his feet. And I, I dare say. Setting up for a finish here, I think. On his feet. Cecil Landis coming here. Let's take a victory roll. Oof. No, grabbing the title. This apron work is just is real sloppy. Oh. The kick out, the spear. Right back into that fan spot. Liam Gray to the top. Frog splash. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, new champs. Skull pulls the victory. Surprising. Well, that was a hard fought win right there, bud. Yeah, they took a long time to get there, but I guess they finally pulled that out. I wish that uh that we could hear the celebration, but apparently it's that unlicensed fucking music. copyrights are a thing, you know. You know, not mad at them. So there's uh some celebrations happening. All in all, outside of the opening match, John, and outside of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Grimace in the first four matches, <laughs> it was a pretty good show. Not horrible. Um, I think that there needs to be a little bit of cleanup in the work, so that can be handled yeah. with more in-ring practice and, and drills. Um, but not a bad look. The production is not bad. The fans know the fucking assignment. All the guys have a good look about them. They've got their costumes together. The arena looks good. I think the product in general is a decent product. Just needs some polish before they get to bigger stages, maybe. I, I agree 100% with that. The the Some of the ring work definitely needs needs some work. Some of it was was really good, though. The whole second half of the show, I think, was fantastic as far as an indie is concerned. A couple of bots. I think one nothing. of the best women's matches, period. I do, too. I think that's up there. Um, as the celebration continues that we can't hear. Uh, oh, they're going into the crowd with it. Oh, yeah. Let us mute it. I wish I could hear how the crowd is reacting. I mean, obviously, they're going ape shit. Yeah, they're fucking losing it. Yeah. Absolutely losing it. The heroes of the, of the hometown bring the belts home, and they are all getting down. Over, overall, all in all, not a bad show. Uh, probably rate the whole thing on the seven scale. I can see that. I can see that. Um uh, I think it was. I still think it was a good show, uh, the whole way around. As the celebration continues, man, we've got a uh, an incredible week here on the channel, John. We got a lot of we got a lot of things happening. A lot of moving that parts. We do the the, the push for one twenty five is upon us. We'll start doing our next set of milestone episodes, but before we can get there, maybe. Oh, uh, oh, Thursday evening, Spotlight, John. Hold on to Cold Scorpio. To Cold That's right. Scorpio. Friday, excuse me, Saturday morning, 7.38. I'm here at Clary Steel. I'm going to be doing uh, territory on FMW out of Japan. Uh, we're going to be covering a lot of FMW over the next couple of weeks on Saturday morning show. Saturday afternoon, we'll be watching some more women's uh, wrestling takeover Sunday, 3 p.m. We'll be back. Uh, wrestling Request Live. John, take us home. Guys, if you have not done so already, don't forget to go down below and click that little heart and the ding bell so you never miss a beat of what we've got going down behind the curtain. Join us in our Discord and over on YouTube for all of our VODs and pre-release it before the show releases. All the things we've got going on over in Discord. Drop your wrestling request matches for wrestling requests live on Sundays. There in the Discord and see some things 
it's happening as they go. Maybe get your advice in on a poll or so uh, to decide what we do later. But anyway, if you have not done so already, follow us all over the place. Make sure you're behind the curtain with us. As always, guys and gals, it has been a pleasure to share our past with wrestling for you. And we love each and every one of your faces. We'll see you again next time. And there's the...